All right, so for week 15, uh, what we're we starting out with is population pressure and distribution. All right, and we are going to load this in a new page. Okay, and what this is really getting at is starting from year one. Okay, so year one AD and working until present day. So if you select link here and open this up. Okay, you're not gonna need to watch the video so you can exit out of that. And the first thing it asks you to do is go to themes and you do not need food and agriculture. Okay, so the first thing you do is list the five population hubs in South and Central America when the timeline is set to year one. Okay, up here, it tells you the year. All right, so year one in Central and South American population hubs are these dots. So you'll need to click. Okay, so Trujillo is one. Then you can click here. And then the three in Central America. All right, um, that is for question one. And then you need to follow um, what the questions are asking for, uh, whether it's pertaining to a year or what's going on there. Okay, uh, but you can find out more information from clicking on the dots that pop up when it is referring to an actual question. Once you get each question answered, one all the way through six, you can go ahead and submit up here in the top right hand corner. If, the, if there is any other questions, please uh, email me or you can always join the Google Meet on Wednesdays at 945. Thanks. Now for your second assignment, it is over the Amazon rainforest. And what would happen if the Amazon rainforest were to be all the way cleared? All right. Now, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. All right. Uh, we're talking probably maybe a century away if that were ever ever to happen, All right? But it's talking about the possibility of it happening and what would be the effects from it. So you're going to be selecting that assignment and then opening the Edpuzzle in a new window. You're going to watch, listen, and answer. And remember, if you didn't hear the, the correct answer, you can always rewind and rewatch um, in order to get the question correct. Please take your time so that you can get all the points possible. For your final assignment. We have the unit three quiz, right? Um, so if you select the quiz, you have two review materials here. You have the Quizlet, which is for vocab review, and then you have the Kahoot, right? If you want to play the Kahoot uh, on your own, you just select, then you need to open up a new window. All right, and if you play as guest, you're going to want to randomize questions and answers. All right, uh, then you'll just hit the classic play. All right, it's gonna load the pin up and then you're gonna take this game pin why did U.S. Copy. Cuba relations get so bad in the first place? And get to highly controversial. Yeah, you can put your name. In the 1950s, so once you're Cuba in, was run by okay, a you're here. Now he was not and then a you can start it up, and that'll be your uh, how you run the Kahoot. You just need to see the question. Right, and then find out which one you want to select, come back here and select the answer. All right, that's how you run the Kahoot on your own. All right, so once you've reviewed the Kahoot and looked over the vocabulary terms, you can scroll down and select take the quiz. Now, once you hit take the quiz, you need to answer all questions in that 45 minute time period. All right, once you exit, that counts as your one attempt. You have one attempt, 
and you have to answer all questions in 45 minutes. When you are completing your quiz, the first three questions are short answer. Please make sure you are writing in a complete sentence. You will get credit for writing in a complete sentence as well as getting the question correct. So please make sure you're taking your time using proper punctuation and capitalization. All right, if you have any questions, um, please make sure to email me. Again, reminder, you only get one attempt. So once you open the quiz, you need to take the quiz at that time. All right. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, Google Meets Wednesday, 945, or you can always email me. Thanks.